Hi, this is Mike from Stateless Code, and I'm going to provide a, a TLDR at the beginning of this video. So I went trying to get an Android emulator installed so that I could do a video where I use the YouTube app to create a short out of a video. And uh, I started off with uh, the... can't remember the name of it anymore. The Anbox app, uh, that is a uh, is not working with the latest Linux kernels on Ubuntu 22.04. So that um, just after a while of troubleshooting, I found out that the Linux kernel got rid of the main um, module that they need in order to that, that they rely on to do their thing so that didn't work then i uh pivoted to android studio which was the eventual thing that got working uh you need to make sure that you've got your machine visual vi virtualization on in bios and you're going to want a lot of hard drive space in order to um to do this solution uh, i ran out of space on my OS drive trying to do this. Um, it's It works as an emulator, but it's very overbuilt for an emulator. So it, it, it's like for developing apps on the Android. And one of the things that it can do is emulate it. So um, there probably, I there might be a better one on the market, but as of March, 2023, this is the solution that I finally uh, came up with. I've got chapters in this so that you can skip to the parts that um, are useful to you. Um, I, I left, I, I make a habit of leaving the mistakes in. So if I run into a dead end even, I leave it in the video, but I'll, I'll put the chapters there so that you can skip ahead to the, the parts that you can uh, find helpful and um, enjoy the video. Hopefully it will save you some of the headaches that I had to work through to get it done. Welcome to this Stateless Code video. And in this video, we're going to try to get some an Android emulator and box up and running on this uh, Ubuntu 22.04 system. The reason why I'm doing this is I was going to try to make a, I started a new video series called How the Sausage is Made that uh, I kind of go through some of the stuff that I am trying to do on my YouTube channel. And I wanted to show how to take, extract a short from a video. YouTube, in their wisdom, have made it so that you can only do that from an iPhone app or an Android app. Uh, I'm an iPhone user, but um, Apple makes it equally difficult to emulate application iPhone applications on uh, on the Mac. So I'm going to try to get this up and running on Ubuntu 22.04. I've never tried this before, so I don't know whether it's going to work. And if I make mistakes, you'll be there along with me watching the mistakes. I have a video on my Why Stateless Code playlist about why I leave the mistakes in videos. I think that you can learn from them just as well. Um, that it, You might even learn more than if somebody does it perfect uh, because er errors happen in real life. So this is uh, makeuseof.com. I'm going to use this as my guide here, and I'm going to try to get the the Anbox application installed. You can take a look at m more detail about the article, but um, I know I've got Snap installed, but let's uh, follow the instructions just Alright, so that works then and now I'm going to um, install Anbox in the uh, dev mode beta version. So I'm going to control C here, control shift V down here. It will take my password. And it's downloading. All right, 
that. So it says that that has succeeded and it says when this installs, restart your computer. So I'll stop this video and restart my computer and I'll be back. All right, I've rebooted my computer and I'm back. Uh, in the spirit of leaving mistakes in the video, I had a pair of, I had a headset on that wasn't even connected to this computer, so it's off now. The next step here is to, um, I should find the Anbox available in my application here. So this is going to, it's on my other screen here, uh, but the, um, I hit the super key and the Anbox application shows as available. I selected it and we'll see whether anything happens. Sure, I started here. So, not seeing anything here. I will try the troubleshooting item here. Hit Anbox Session Manager. Failed to start. Kernel drivers are not loaded. Let me read up on that. I'll be back in a few moments. All right, so now I'm gonna to try to get the, um, the Ashmem Linux kernel mod, oops, running here. Not found. see what else I can find out here. All right, the next thing I'm going to try is to add a PPA here um, to see if that gets me what I need. This is from Anbox's GitHub here. Not found. That does not sound promising. Let's see what else I can do here. Xenial Zeros. Possibly related. Still present. here. So that is the similar shim to what we had in this solution here. We'll try that next. SSL error, permission to not do it. Pseudo, still whole bunch of module ash mem not found. Maybe. Pack 
Package. I wonder if we can, I wonder if they have a, a .deb file that we can use instead of snap. That might, if we, um, apps install F, it might get the dependencies. I don't know. Pause and do some more research. All right, so one of the things following this uh, GitHub is that um, it referred to another solution, and in that one it said you need to install Linux modules extra. So I'm going to try doing that and see if that solves for our current installation. Unable to locate package. So maybe this is So let me see if I can find out about what the alternative to Linux modules extra is on Ubuntu 22.04. All right, so the interpret the interpolation of uname r is necessary here, so we will run the full command to get the specific version of Linux modules extra that we need. Okay. It's already newest version. All right, well, let's try this and then try this and that's still not showing up Let's see what I can do about that all right, so the Anbox um, GitHub account has a section Anbox, has a repo Anbox modules. I'm going to um, create a, oh, I'm good. to get clone CD into it. Install shell file, take a look at it, make sure that it's not doing anything evil. Um, this is the official Anbox repo, but you always want to make sure there. All right. The install does have execute privileges, so we'll see if that works. No such file or directory. All right, let's take a look at the bad exit status. All right, 
I'll pause and read the output of this. All right, so that's failed Let, uh, with a DKMS error. I'm almost certain I've got this installed on my system, but I will, oops, control C, not control shift C. Yeah, it already exists and is the newest version. So the problem is that Mbox binder is not found. Let's see if there's a GitHub issue about it. I'll pause and see what I find. All right, so the saga continues, and in this Anbox modules, it notes that the um, the dependency ashmem here is has been dropped entirely from the uh, the Linux kernel. So, and there are, it gets pretty uh, arcane here in terms of like stuff that you probably don't want to be doing on um, your kernel with um, kind of modules that have been removed from it. So uh, I'm going to just uh, do sudo snap uninstall and box. Using the R Ubuntu Reddit here, I'm going to take a look at the idea of um, developer.android.com and seeing if Android Studio works. So I'm going to try that now. Whatever. And then let's see if we can find some installation instructions. Install Mac Linux. Open this with Archive Manager. Got a so unpack the zip file to an appropriate location. All right, so I will. folder here. I don't have the right permissions, so I will All right, CD Looking 
for whatever my downloads were here. What I'll do is I'll, well, no. I'll just execute the command as sudo. I have to look it up because I don't untar things all that often. All right, so try that. just pause and let that complete it might take well uh, Android studio. pause and let that complete and this is because I need the dash C here I'll try to get it into the op directory first and then see how that works whether that works So that looks like it succeeded. All right, Android Studio. Now, what I want to try to do is install my dependencies. that let's see um, opt Android Studio bin studio dot sh Looks like it succeeded here. Uh, I don't have any settings to import here. Welcome to Android Studio. I'll choose don't send here on the set up your development environment. Wizard will help port existing Android apps or create a new application project. I'm just gonna pick standard here. Uh, so click that. I am running out of some 
my main system drive here is running out of space. I'm going to pause and delete some files before I click next here. All right, I'm back with a little bit more uh, space available here. We will click next. Yeah, whatever. system can run the Android em emulator in accelerated performance mode. Uh, okay. I'm just wanting it to work at all at this point. Pause and let this complete. All right, this appears to be done now. I'll click finish. And I guess I'll do a new project. And then Click finish. Click finish again. And we've got an IDE error occurred. Got a null pointer exception in the Java, but let me see if I can at least run my emulator, which is the whole point I had for this. Let's see if I can figure this out real quick. I'll pause. All right, I'm gonna just try doing a new project. And we'll say basic activity. Oh, we ran out of disk space. Everything is broken. I need to really get some clear some space here. All right, I'm back. I've reclaimed enough hard drive space here. So let's see here. Probably have to until I create a desktop shortcut here. Rerun the shell command here. All right. So try a new project. We'll say basic activity. We'll call it my application three. settings file we'll let this come up I can 
just quick run here. Let's see if it gives me anything. Uh, run. and let this finish setting up. All right, it looks like it's done doing stuff. Now let's see if I can just run out. No target device found. Can I start a device? Device manager. Create virtual device. Phone. So we'll go with a Pixel 6. Recommendation not found. Choosing here. I guess I'll everything's not found. Enable VT not accident bias security settings. Well, let's find out what that means. All right, it looks like I need to go into BIOS and enable virtualization technology. I'm surprised that it isn't already enabled, but I will check and make sure that that is the case, reboot and come back uh, if it's uh, already enabled, then I guess I'll hit the next, uh, troubleshooting part of this. All right, I'm back. And my problem was that I did not have the pr correct hardware virtualization enabled. So let me make this bigger again. Android Studio back up and running. So as far as a Android emulator goes, this is really overbuilt um, and it's doing way more stuff than I want it to do. And it, at least f for my purposes and all I wanted to do was to be able to record a video of turning a YouTube video into a YouTube short and I'm still trying to get this going. So I don't even remember what. Device, I want a device. Select device. 
the vice manager. Create virtual device. We'll do a pixel six. Next. So I'll try 12L. Plus I've got to download it. So if I had actually gone and read all of these ridiculous terms and conditions agreements like I I'm already in the, the north of an hour trying to get this working if I had gone and actually read this like we're, we're talking like days uh, don't be evil Google don't be evil well that that ship has sailed that uh, we're a bit downstream of that all right so I will pause and let this complete hopefully at the end of this I'll have a bootable Android virtual device that I can just do my stupid YouTube thing on and I ran out of space again yeah Can I change that? Oh. Oi, oi, oi. All right, so where is it even e writing to? Is there preferences here? Edit. Yeah, I know there's low disk, disk space because you downloaded half the world. Oh, all right. Going to pause and see if I can change the folder that this points to to a secondary drive on my computer so that it doesn't break my OS drive. I'll be back. All right, I just need to show you this because it's nuts. Okay, so. Since we've started this video, Android, 3.4 gigabytes, did not exist before. Gradle, 2.4 gigabytes, did not exist before. And in my opt folder, Android Studio, 2.5 gigabytes. So. I um, guess I had too small of a hard drive to use this as an option. Uh, I will pause and see if I can move these things or repoint them or do something because this is insane. All right, so I had another drive here, so um, I moved it to that drive and then Symbolic link, Android, move, and then symbolic link, Gradle, move, and then symbolic link. So now, let's see if I can opt. I'll just tab up to the most recent time that I ran it. No such file. happened to my symbolic link.
Did I do the arguments in the wrong directory, in the wrong order? Yep, I did them all in the wrong order. I think I might need to go back and remove some of these things. I'll fix it and see if we can get it working that way. All right, let's see if we can get this running now. Looks like we might be back in business. Now, let's see if I can create my virtual device. Let's see if I can download this now. Pause and hope that this finishes. All right, uh, well, it looks like it succeeded. So we'll go with portrait here. Click finish. And we'll try to launch the. Oh, come on. Terminated. It's always something. All right, it looks like it's another disk space issue. Let me see if I've got that directory symlinked. Grep droid dot android. Okay. Well then we will move that.
let's see if that solves our issue. It's looking promising. device bigger so it will not make for a useful video if it is just in the corner of the file there so it looks like it's already got YouTube installed. Can I just make it bigger? There we go. And can we start YouTube? And I think I can sign in. So hopefully that will give me what I need in order to make the video that I was intending to make about how to uh, create a short from a, an existing video. So uh, it was a, a long and arduous process um, and I, I still don't think it's the, I mean, I finally got something that works. So. I'm thankful for that, but um, this is a really seems like an overbuilt uh, way to do this, and it it really it was kind of needless given the amount of um, trouble it was. So um, I hope that that video about creating a short works, because otherwise this was a whole lot of nothing. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.